Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to speed up your Galaxy Tab S2. Now, a couple of these tricks we've always seen, but I always like to show it just for those who've never seen it. So the first thing we're going to go is into settings. And under settings, we're going to scroll all the way up and go to about device. From here, we're going to hit the build number repeatedly. And after about seven hits, you will have developer options, which we did not have there before. Once you go in here, uh, I would turn on USB debugging. This just allows you to connect it to your computer and it's simple and easy. And then we have the drawing category. Under the drawing category, you're going to want to take a look at these three things that say animation and scale. And you're gonna tap each of them and change it to 0.5. This is a really simple process, but it does make movement through your apps much quicker. And just you'll notice in every time when you hit an app and then go home, you'll notice it runs much smoother than ever did before. So you'll just notice your overall tablet experience will be much quicker now. The second part of this is doing a pinch to zoom on your home screen and getting rid of this annoying Flipboard briefing. It's an annoying app that should never be there. Once you're done with that, you're gonna go into your apps drawer and then click the edit button. You see, there are a lot of built-in apps that are really not necessary to your experience for using the tablet. Simply put, something like Memo, which I don't really care for Samsung's Memo solution. I would say if you want a Memo solution that's much better, go with Google Keep. Uh, it is one you have to download, but it's a much better Memo system that works across all your devices. Second thing I would get rid of is the screensaver. I'm guessing this is for like the demos that are in stores, or I guess if you work for Samsung, you might use it, but that's about it. Otherwise, it's gone. And if you don't need some of the apps that they give you, you can also get rid of those too. For instance, I never use Skype, so I would get rid of that. And I would also get rid of OneNote since I am not a fan of that software either. So those are some examples of apps you might want to get rid of. Other apps you can get rid of uh, come pre-installed in the Google folder as well as the Samsung folder. So feel free to get rid of any you don't need. Uh, the only ones that I recommend keeping and never disabling are Google and voice search or else you cannot voice the text. So you do want to keep those at all times. Photos is a great one for backing up your photos so I would keep that as well. All right, guys, hopefully you like these solutions and hopefully they help your tablet move much, much quicker. Thank you for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy.